All right, Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. I want you to practice this very short sequence from our uh, Shaolin Kung Fu bird system. So from here, I want you to have just like a sparring stance. So in our traditional Tao Lu, we take this hand and we hook out with the left. We step forward and we elbow with the right, then we chop in with the right, okay? Then typically we circle back colorfully and we drop down holding our hand up into a low stance. Again, in our beginning position, take your left hand, hook out, elbow, chop, circle colorfully, ball of your left foot, flat of your right foot, and extend your arms. Really condition the shoulders and the legs and the back. Hold it straighter. So this move done for the fight, we do a little bit of a Wing Chun-like kind of move with speed as the name of the game, okay? When they come in and they have a fighting position, I might just take the initiative and step in and try to chop and chop back, very simply. In the form it was elbow chop, but we can always chop chop. We can vary things a little bit. Again, from this position, I chop, chop. Again, chop, chop. So the fifth metacarpal is my contact point. I'm gonna numb the arm, hit to the neck. A couple of my videos on our channel talk about how I don't believe in chi um, in certain instances, but I do believe in disrupting somebody's musculature through pressure point hits. Okay, so when you're in here, don't worry about pressure points too detailed yet. Just hit them in this meaty part of the arm, pow, and then hit them in this hollow part of the neck. We'll do more pressure point training later on. So we're gonna chop and chop. Now if he tries to fight back and he won't let me have that chop, I don't need to let him, he doesn't need to let me have it. I can just cover his arm and slide right in and I got it, okay? So again, from here, hit, cover, hit. We're gonna build this, hit, cover, hit. Now if he tries to hit me with his left arm, hit, cover, hit, block, chop back. Okay, we got that? We're building a sequence, a little bit at a time. This is how I teach. I teach one move, two moves, three moves, four moves, we link it together like a sentence full of individual words. So again, I'm going to chop. He won't let me have any room. So I just slide in. He punches me, cover, chop back. It's a little faster, it's like this. Chop, chop, block, chop. Again, chop, chop, block, chop. Again, block, chop, block, chop. One more time. Chop, hit, cover, hit. A little faster. Hit, 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 hit. Now punch me faster. Go, bang, even faster, get it. Get it right now, go. So get your partner into it. Hit, hit, hit. Again, hit, 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 hit. I don't know how much more you can take in the neck. Hit, hit, block, hit. Get that punch me faster. Go for my head. Hit, hit. That's it, okay? Once we have that, we go further, okay? From here, we cover, block, hit, block, hit, take their foot out and take them down to the floor. That'll end this sequence. We'll end right there. Again, chop, cover, chop, block, chop, kick the foot out and take them down to the ground. Okay, again. Chop, chop, block, chop, take them out and put them down to the ground. This is all different individual techniques that we have strung together from our bird system of Chinese Kung Fu, okay? One more time. Chop, chop, block, chop, kick the leg out. Then faster, it's like this. Chop, hit, cover, hit, take it out, and we can even throw his head down that way. See what I did? Again, from here, chop, chop, block, chop, I take his head, and as I trip his leg out, I throw his head down toward the floor that way. Okay, so again, faster speed. Chop, chop, block, chop, take it down and throw him down that way. Get a partner who's a great partner, willing to let you throw him around, and throw him around, okay? Then let them throw you around, okay? Practice this very fast and very practical and very bird-like sequence.